Hello friends. Well, I am Sunil Ranjan and I am an English teacher. Now here I have come with decolonizing the Indian mind by Nambar Singh. Now Nambar Singh is of the view that the greatest event of world history in the 20th century has been the event of decolonization or the action or process of a state withdrawing from its former colony and leaving it independent. This process began after World War II. The literature produced during that period by Indian, African and Latin American writers came to be known as Commonwealth literature or post-colonial literature or new literature or third world literature. Number Singh held that the creative energy of Indian and Asian writers was in need of some distinct identity. It had to be the identity of tradition or modernity or regional or national identity or some aesthetic identity. Before decolonization, the writers of Latin American countries had developed an attitude of confrontational and violent decolonization. But after the independence of their countries, they shifted their focus to national sentiments. He said that Indian literature lagged behind the literatures of Africa and Latin America. It happened especially in the writing style of novels, short stories and drama. He held that it was due to the absence of nationalist sentiments. Namar Singh was of the view that the Indian writers in English should have looked back to India's past and have to be deeply felt and expressed in their writings. They ought to have studied its roots to feel its stream. He cited the example of Pranishacharya, the hero of Sanskara by Anant, Anant Murthy, who regarded past as the small sprout of Sparacilla plant that acted as tonic that had to be pulled up by its roots and its smell had to be flavored into the writing to sense its smell. By citing such an example, he meant that Sanskara had a deeper sense of Indian identity, as one could feel in Rabindranath Tagore's novel Gora. Due to its distinct uniqueness, Western scholars found it sparkling with deeper Indian identity. In Tagore's novel Gora, the character Gora boldly challenges the West that Indians would not let their country stand like an accused and tried in an alien court under alien law. He said that Indians did not have to prove their worth to anyone and they were free to wish what they felt. He strongly pointed that the ultimate responsibility of Seeking identity rested on Indian writers in English and not on regional writings such as Punjabi, Tamil, Bengali or Hindi. To him Indian literature meant literature written in English with Indian flavor. The problem with most of the Indian writers was that they thought that by having the journey to the West they could return to the East. The problem of the Indian writers is the mindset that tends to be more inclined towards the West at the cost of losing their originality and identity. The colonial hangover continues to dominate their writing in one way or the other. These westernized Indian writers tend to convince their Western readers that a journey to the West is essential to attain an Indian identity, which unfortunately is a false notion that fails to solve the purpose of literature. Such an approach fails to mark the identity of any literature. So friends, here I come to the end of this video session and if you subscribe to my channel, I promise that I'll be coming up with fine videos for you from time to time. Thank you.